Good morning. Today I would like to dedicate our lecture to tasks, tasks, instructions and control that you ask for in your emails. Very well, I understand the need for control and I love to give it to you. But let us get back to a few months ago. What did I tell you about control? What is control to the lady? What is so attractive about this controlling role? Making decisions, making choices, being presented with options, having the right to say, I approve, I disapprove. Yes, you can do that. Yes. No, you cannot do that. That is control. Control is not doing all the thinking for the other party, not doing all the work for the other party. No woman wants a doll who stands there and does nothing until you tell it what to do because I have enough problems and enough headache thinking about my own tasks for the day, right? and everybody else does too. So why would you want to think for other people? You don't. And if you are seeking for that type of control when the other person will write you lists every day and come up with tasks that might not even be there to start with, not naturally arising, but brainstorm, oh God, what could I order him? I know that he wants some tasks. What can I think of? Uh, that is not what we want to do. We want to have options, be it in the area of life, ideas, brainstorming, anything else. Now, as with any sort of boss, employee or dominant and um, controlling type woman and her S-type man, as with that sort of dynamic, the boss is not there doing the work. The boss tells you what the common goal is. This is what we want to achieve at the end of the year. This is what we want to achieve at the end of the month. And this is our motto. This is what drives us. With me, it is also the same. I give you two options. And I have always given you two options, two paths. If you are self-centered, like most of us, and are not ready to give to other people. You want to serve, but you're not ready to give yet. Take care of yourself. This is one path. You are serving yourself under my control. You are on a better diet. You are improving your physical condition. You are improving your mental and spiritual condition by doing certain tasks, following my teachings and coming up with tasks yourself, asking for improvement perhaps and carrying on your program. The second path is taking care and serving me, Lena. If you are ready to give and if you are at that stage when you can let go of the ego and forget your calculating sort of side, like what am I going to get out of it, what am I going to get out of it if I do this, or oh, I'm not getting out of it, step back. If you are ready to serve, there is this second path, so either, either serving yourself or serving me. With me, the common goal is make my life more comfortable. Very, very simple. So when you come up with your own tasks in this direction, it can be doing 20 push-ups every morning. It can be going for a, for a run for half an hour. It can be eating an apple a day and so on. If you are coming up with tasks for this area, you can send me certain questions, but not what, what can I do for you? Because that is making the other person think for you. Think for yourself. I don't know what you can do for me. Why? Because you are very different, different from one another. And I don't know what your strengths are, what you can do, what your skills are, and what you are ready to give me. So, you have to watch the videos and analyze what is this person, what does she want. Does she like perfume? Does she like to read long articles on diet? Does she like Chinese proverbs? 
and that has been mentioned here and there in the lectures. If you input a little bit of time, that is already serving me because you are learning about me. If you do not know who I am, what I like and what I want, you cannot serve me because you assume that I am this empty doll talking in front of the camera who would probably like flowers and perfume and new shoes but you don't know the person you can't serve them right you have to know the person first if you can't find the information that you need in the lectures if you can't find the time to watch the lectures to learn about the person then you can't talk about serving the person serving takes time takes dedication takes effort things halfway halfway unfinished are no good. What happened to the website? The website was almost there, then our designer has disappeared. For the last three weeks I have not heard from him. The site is exactly where it was three weeks ago and it did not answer to my last email. What am I to think? Where is the dedication in that? Where is the devotion? And where is that reliability? If you're not ready to give, if you're not ready to do something for the other person, don't even start. Do something for yourself. Do something for your wife and your kids. Because there is something easy to relate to and commit to. Because you know that if you input into your kids, when they grow up, they will get better jobs. And, and ask for not, not ask for money from you. So that is a direct investment very um, very good but this isn't about the kids this is about the path that you choose the right path for you and only you can choose only you can come up with tasks what you can do because you know your stage of devotion you know your stage of commitment be it commitment to watching one of my lectures per week, maybe if you have time, or be it a commitment of watching every lecture twice and really thinking about things that I said, whether they agree with your opinion or not, considering them perhaps. This sort of commitment determines your service. If you know me, you can serve me. If you don't know me, serve yourself or get to know me. Very simple. Do not ask me the question, what can I do for you? Because in that case, every person would say, oh, nothing, I'm all right, thank you. And if you're asking for the questions, what can I do for myself, that is even worse. Why? Why would anybody want to think for, for another person? Right? Right, and control say if you're in a live-in um, C type woman and S type man relationship where the woman takes control over the relationship she is not the worker you are she is the boss she makes decisions she signs off the tasks but you come up with the tasks ask for her approval learn about her learn about your structure learn about what needs to be done learn how it needs to be done you are doing the work if you're not ready for it leave it leave it for the time being maybe you are only interested in the fantasy Certain tasks that you ask for are pointless. They don't contribute to your well-being and don't contribute to my well-being. Why do I not answer to emails that describe progress on, say, less significant tasks? Because I think it is a waste of your time and a waste of my time. Entertainment should play a part in life, but not a huge part. Yes, some fun is fun, but when something is more practical, it wins over the fun. So, if somebody, say, is making a forum or a website for our community, that is 
worth more than somebody is wearing something that makes them happy every Wednesday. And they say they're doing it for me. You're not doing it for me, you're doing it for yourself. Yes, I have asked you to do it, perhaps, at some stage in the past. I have asked you to do it, to push your button, to make you happy, so that you can come back to serving me. Yet, you are stuck at that stage of serving yourself, and hope that that is something that is serving me. Do not misunderstand. That is not service. That is self-service. Good. Good. I'm glad you understand. Now, something I wanted to share with you today, which is off the topic. I went to the beach this morning. Look what I have collected. Aren't they nice? And I put a bit of garlic in there, a bit of um, Himalayan salt and black pepper. I'm going to steam it for two or three minutes and it's going to look fantastic. Wait and see. This is service. <laughs> and this is basil. You wanted to see it. <laughs> 